Here we presents the top 5 best mechanical gaming keyboards. Starting at number 5, SteelSeries Apex Pro. If you want a mechanical gaming keyboard you can finitune to be truly you, the SteelSeries Apex Pro is it. Anyone can appreciate its striking design and attractive RGB lighting. But hardcore gamers and finicky typers will appreciate unprecedented customization brought by unique switches that allow you to individually set the actuation point for nearly every key. A screen and other bonuses solidify and rationalize the keyboard's high price. The Apex Pro can store five custom profiles and uses a 32-bit ARM processor. The keys are guaranteed for 100 million presses, which is twice the average of typical mechanical gaming keyboards, thanks to SteelSeries on the point switch. As expected for a mechanical keyboard, the Apex Pro connects to your PC via the attached USB Type-A cable. More surprising is the cable management system. The back of the keyboard has a long channel for snapping in the keyboard's cable and extending it outwards from one of three locations. Whether your PC's port is to the right, left or center of the keyboard, you can still keep things tidy. Although, with the cable so long, I wish there was even more space. The bottom also has three rubber pads that keep the keyboard in place atop your desk. The flip-out feet add a small amount of height at the back, though some might wish for a greater boost. But what it lacks in height, it makes up for with a soft-touch magnetic wrist rest, which snaps on and off in a second. The deliciously smooth wrist rest feels amazing, especially when sliding across the keyboard, and helps deliver the type of experience you should demand from a $200 keyboard. It's not as thick and plush as a fabric one, like the Hyperx wrist rest, but it should be durable and long-lasting without having fabric to wear down, and its eight rubber feet add even more stability. For more information and price, check out the product links in description. At number 4. Razer Black Widow X Chroma. The worst part of owning Razer's Black Widow X Chroma is cleaning it. Every week. Sometimes every day, multiple times a day. It's a problem I'm well familiar with, having taken other naked keyboards for a spin, most notably, Corsair's K70 and K90. Like the K70, the Black Widow X lacks a faceplate around the keys. In fact that's the only real difference between the Black Widow X and Razer's traditional Black Widow line. And so I happily installed the Black Widow X at my desk and started testing it. It's very similar to the Black Widow Ultimate we reviewed previously, the Razer continues to reposition itself as a peripherals for everyone, company instead of one that's only for hardcore gamers. In other words, the primary change is a change in typeface, as we saw with Razer's Blade and Blade Stealth laptops. In years past, Razer used some awful gamer typeface on all its keyboards. I'm pretty sure it was either Braciola MS, or something modeled after Braciola MS. In any case, it looked ugly. Razer's new Black Widow X isn't so much an improvement over the original Black Widow as a lateral move. If you like the new stripped-down look and don't mind dusting, it's a solid choice. Otherwise, go with the original. Halfway of my listed number 3, SteelSeries Apex 3. The SteelSeries Apex 3 is a good gaming keyboard with rubber dome switches. It has a good build quality despite its budget price, and it also comes with a nice magnetic wrist rest. It provides a decent typing experience that isn't fatiguing, but some people might find the keys slightly mushy and that they lack distinct tactile feedback. Unfortunately, its latency is a bit high for a wired keyboard, and its rubber dome switches have a long pre-travel distance, so it's not the most responsive. The RGB backlight is sewn lit, although there's still a decent number of customization options through SteelSeries Engine software. Overall, it's a good option for those on a budget, or just don't like mechanical keyboards. The SteelSeries Apex 3 has dedicated media controls. The button located below the volume wheel lets you play, pause, skip tracks or go to the previous track. There are hotkeys that allow you to control the brightness of the backlight, set macros, and change your profile. You can also lock the Windows key to prevent accidentally minimizing your game by pressing the SteelSeries key and the Windows key at the same time. The SteelSeries Apex 3 is a good gaming keyboard, However, even though the keys are relatively easy to actuate, the rubber dome switches have a long pre-travel distance, and the keyboard's latency is fairly high, making it feel a bit unresponsive. You can set macros to any key, but it doesn't have dedicated macro keys for MMO players. Additionally, the RGB backlight is zone lit, so you won't be able to customize each key individually. Coming in at number 2. Corsair K63. 
wireless gaming mice, like the Corsair Dark Core RGBSE, might be the new hotness in the gaming peripheral world, but wireless mechanical keyboards are still deep in their infancy. The fact that the $109 Corsair K63 wireless is only the second such peripheral, the first one being the $149 Logitech G613, from a major gaming hardware maker speaks volumes to the nascency of this field. Whereas the Logitech G613 tried to break the difference between gaming and everyday typing, the Corsair K63 wireless was designed for gaming from the ground up. Equipped with Cherry MX red keys, media buttons and backlit lighting, it's practically everything the already fantastic, $79 Corsair K63 was bit made wireless. There aren't any surprises here, the Corsair K63 wireless is a carbon copy of wired version that preceded it. Likewise, if you've used or seen any of Corsair's other keyboards, the K63 wireless should look familiar to you. Corsair's keyboard design is one of the cleanest and most modern in the industry. The frameless design is straightforward, with a tasteful top bezel to give it just enough flair as well as space for dedicated media controls. Despite the K63 wireless missing out on the aluminum top frame seen on the company's higher NK70 and K95 keyboards, the peripheral's high-quality plastics are rigid and solid throughout. The only truly new design elements you'll find on this keyboard are the additions of a power switch and mini-USB charging port on the rear side of it. Corsair takes the already fantastic K63 and makes it a wireless keyboard that sacrifices almost nothing to ditch the cord. For clean gaming setups in the ultimate couchside PC experience, there's no better option. For more information and price, check out the product links in description. And number 1. Corsair K100. Let me start by saying that, while I was impressed by Corsair's previous offering, the K95 RGB Platinum, I struggled with the price. Really struggled. $200 is a lot for any keyboard, regardless how good it is. The thing is, it really was a good keyboard, taking the top spot in our best gaming keyboard guide for the last few years. That's a brief bit of context for the K100, which costs even more than its predecessor. At $230 it is 15% pricier, but will you get the 15% more out of it? Possibly. Possibly even more. The fundamental core of the K100 is very much like the K95, with the same premium quality throughout, the same overall design, the same macro keys down the left-hand side, the same metal roll in the top right corner, the same media keys just below it, and the same double-shot keycaps. USB pass-through is easy to access, and you get a comfortable wrist rest that snaps on magnetically just like before. But look a bit closer, and there are differences. The switches in this particular model are completely new, and are in fact Corsair's first optical offering. Then there's the big glowing IQ control wheel in the top left-hand corner, which takes on a number of guises depending on what mode it's in, you can use it to skip music tracks, adjust light levels, use it as a zoom or scroll wheel, plus a few more. This is a minor point against the K100 though, and overall, there's a lot to like about the Corsair K100 RGB, with the only real exception being the price. At this point it almost feels as if Corsair wants to see just how high people are willing to go. Frustratingly it just so happens to have produced a keyboard that feels awesome, boasts loads of features, and has enough RGB lit distractions to keep your eyes off your long-suffering bank balance. So we may not be at our limit quite yet. I have included these product link in the description. You can check out this link for more information and latest price. Thank you for watching this video. Please hit the like button, share with your friends, and be sure to subscribe.